Hello, this video here will show you how to create a, a linear regression or a line of best fit in GeoGebra. Um, this is the standard window of uh, GeoGebra when you open it. Um, in order to do the linear regression, we need to view the spreadsheet uh, of GeoGebra. So you press view and choose spreadsheet. And you'll see that here to the right is a spreadsheet opens spreadsheet window um, so let's just make it a bit larger um, so we'll have to enter our data into the spreadsheet um, the x values will be placed here in the a column and the y values here in the b column so i'll just uh, invent some stuff here so here let's say we need five data points um, the, the y values here Something like this. Okay, so um, before we can use the data uh, set here um, in the graphics window, we need to uh, we need to make it into a set of points, a list of points. So the next thing we do is we mark all the data if the computer allows us to, and you right click and you choose create. You create a list of points. So you can see already that uh, the list of points will be here. And if you compare the data, you can see it works just fine. Um, so actually, we're done with the spreadsheet for now. So let's just push this to the right. Um, you can make this field a bit larger, the algebra window. So you can see the list of points. Um, over here in the graphics window, you can also see the points. We can only see some of them. But uh, if you choose this move graphics view here, you can uh, manipulate um, the graphics window. You can even drag the axis uh, to your likings. So you can, uh, whatever, what you need. If you want the X axis to, um, to be spread out a bit, you can do this. Okay, so you can see the lines lying here. They're not lying exactly on a, a straight line, but it seems like it could be a linear. Um, a linear model we need for this. So next thing we do is that we want uh, we want GeoGebra to find the line of best fit for the linear regression for this. So in the input field here, we type fit. Uh, so you can say that's the prefix for for the regression commands. And uh, if we go down the list here, there's a fit line, and that's the one we want. So we choose fit line. And we have to enter a list of points. As you can see in the algebra window, our list of points is named list one. So we simply type list one and press enter. And it already occurs over here. And the label for the line is here or the, or the formula or the equation y equals 1.94x plus 1.81. 1 if you want to show this with more decimals, you go to options and you choose rounding and for example, five decimals. So you get a, a higher, uh, higher degree of, uh, well, more decimals to show this. <clears throat> yeah, uh, basically this is it. Um, if you want to find separate values for example if you wanted to figure out what is the value what is the model value when x is six down here you simply type f f of six since the function here or the line here has the name f we type f of six and press enter and it says here well it says a but um that is what occurs here um so the value for uh, for the x value um, 6 will be 13.47 approximately. Yeah, basically this is it. Um, you can, uh, for for the next or a later lesson, you'll need a value called um, r squared. That is a measure, but uh, we'll make a new video on that later. Thank you.